The last experiment is lipid digestion and the following materials are needed. You need to have your substrate, in this case we are using the milk. And after that you need to have six test tubes uh, labeled 1L to 6L. And after that you need to have your enzyme source which is a pancreatic juice and contains a pancreatic lipase. And uh, we have a standard, which is called the Promotimol Blue. And we're going to use that to test for the pH. And you need the water, the ionized water also. Um, I already mentioned that we're going to use the pancreatic uh, juice. And uh, apart from that, we're going to need the bowel which is very important and essential. It's usually an emulsifier and acts as a detergent to break fat well, molecules. And we need the mammalian ring solution as we've been using in previous experiments. And also we need uh, um, NOAH uh, sodium hydroxide and the pH indicator. So to start this experiment, we need to have 0.2 mL of 0.1 normal as sodium hydroxide to each of the test tubes. So the max outside is, uh, is an alkaline solution and it's usually used to regulate the pH of our um, solution. Remember, further digestion usually is based on the changes in the pH, which is because of fats when they are hydrolyzed they become acidic and they form fatty acids and glycerols. So immediately after adding 0.2 mL of the 0.1 normal uh, sodium hydroxide, uh, the next thing to do is to take the mammalian ring solution. So you're going to add 1 mL of the mammalian ring solution to tube 1 two and six then um after that you're supposed to have two meals of the mammalian gas solution to tube three and tube 5. So you can do the 1 mil uh, twice because uh, the, we have 1000 microliter pipette, so we can do it twice, and that's why I'm repeating it to make it 2 mil. And lastly, uh, you're supposed to have um, 1.3 mil of the mammalian ring solution to tube 4. So you had 1000 mL first and 0.3 mL uh, later on. So when you're done with that, the next thing is to take the bowel salt and we're going to add 1 mL of the bowel salt, which has an emulsifier, to all of the tubes except to 5 L. And another thing about the, the bowel is that it's very important and required for the activity of the lipase. And since it's an emulsifier, it breaks the fat uh, molecules and make, uh, increase the surface area of the fat and allows the lipase to act on it for a better digestion and activity. All right, so after adding the bowel the next thing to do is to take the pancreatic juice and you're going to add one mil of the pancreatic juice to tube one, four, and five. So after adding the pancreatic juice to the tubes, one, four, and five, uh, the next step is to add one mil of the lipase to tube six. 
So take one meal of the lipase to top six. Remember the, the top six L will act as a positive control. So it's going to contain the uh, the lipase, which is expected to digest um, the, um, the 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 milk, the fat within inside the milk that we are using for this experiment. And once you're done, what you're going to do is to mix your samples, the mixtures, and make sure they're well mixed using the Fructexer. And um, once we finish Fructexing, then we are going to add our pH um, standard, which is the Pomotamol Blue, two drops of Pomotamol Blue to each of the tubes. And it's going to turn the tubes to become um bluish in color and one thing you need to know is that um it has to be uh similar to the standard which is at 7.2 ph so the what we're going to get now should be close to 7.2 ph which we're going to um compare with the ph indicator the uh, or a pH indicator or pH standards that we have. So I've already compared that with the pH standards and the, it's a 7.2 right now. So the next thing I need to do is to add our substrate, which is the milk. And I'm going to add the milk to um, 0 0.3 mils of the milk to all of the tubes except tube 4. 0 0.3 mils to tube to all of the tubes except tube 4. So after this, um, you're going to mix them. Make sure you mix carefully and um, very well. And then you're going to use the paraffin to um, to cover the tubes, make sure so that they don't spill, uh, spill when we start the incubation. And after that, like we did in previous experiment, we're going to take the the tube two L, and we're going to put in the ice and allow to incubate for one hour. And um, after that, we're going to run the test while we take the other tubes and put them in um, the 38 degrees centigrade water bath and to also incubate them for uh, one hour, which is the period for incubation. And after that, we're going to run the lipase test, which um, I'll be showing you in the PowerPoint uh, who come with you in the models.